This is Mike with Fordham Electric. We have an old H motor here, a very old one, and they have older style shafting connections. And we have a retrofit kit that I want to show you how to go about changing today. Your old motor has two square ends on its shafting. Our new shafting has a coupling on the other end that needs to be adapted with this shaft adapter here that you fit on your motor shaft on the H motor. So I want to show you how we're going to do that today. You'll get a set of instructions with this and the first thing the instructions are going to tell you to do is to take off your sheath. You do not have to do that. What you need, do need to do is remove the motor hub by unscrewing these four flathead screws. I've got all four screws removed as you can see, the sheath just slides off the shaft with the hub on it. What you're going to replace is this old motor shaft hub with the new one that's got a flat on it instead of a square hole. Both set screws, there's one on either side, and then the shaft comes out. As you can see, it's a square tip, and you're going to be changing it to one. With the coupling. Once your shaft is off, now what you need to do is remove the motor brushes. That's your motor brush cap and that's your motor brush. Then what you need to do is remove the nut, the acorn nut here. Be careful, you, you might have a couple of washers. And now the armature is exposed. Once the armature is exposed, you can hold the armature with a wrench and using the open end wrench, 7 16 Now you can turn and unscrew the old coupling. This is the old motor coupling. Replacing it with the new one. Tighten it up. Nice and snug. Now you replace the motor back in. Be careful not to pinch anything. Line up the screws with the brush holders. There's your screw, there's your brush holder. You line up the threaded area with that. And now the screws come through. Put your washers back on. And your acorn nuts. Tighten it up. Okay. Next we're going to put the new shaft on. It has the coupling with a set screw and a square tip for your handpiece. Put that on. Loosen up that set screw so it slips all the way on. Once it's on, snug it up tight. And then you would slip it back into the sheath. Line up your holes. Now I put the hub screws back in.
Then I replace the motor brushes. Careful to make sure that the curvature of the brush matches the curvature of the outside of the motor, which would be the curvature of the commutator. That's it, she's ready to go.